each year the Texas Parks and Wildlife offers uh, one auction permit, uh, serves similar to a governor's tag here, here in Texas. Uh, this particular permit we just finished actually sold at the 2019 Texas Bighorn Society Roundup. Texas Bighorn Society works in close cooperation with private landowners and uh, the Texas Parks and Wildlife for funding of uh, rehabilitation, watering, you know, pretty much anything related to uh, two desert sheep. So the majority of these funds are going right back onto the mountain out here, out here in West Texas. Uh, my name's Jim, and I uh, won the auction on the Texas Desert Bighorn, and uh, we look forward to hunting Elephant Mountain. Uh, there's a nice sheep up there, and that's going to be our objective. In the mid-1900s, the Texana Desert Bighorn sheep basically went extinct to the state. Um, in the 70s and 80s, through these conservation efforts, Texas Bighorn Society, Texas Parks and Wildlife, they were funded to be reintroduced through the state. And, it, and it's through these auction permits and these private land permits and private ranches that come together as a whole. And uh, that's, that's why we have sheep today. Um, in 1960, there wasn't a walking desert sheep in the state of Texas, and now in 2019, there's estimated to be over 2,000 sheep. The proceeds from this auction permit on this one 12-year-old ram, you know, could go as far as, as putting 80 sheep back on a mountain, um, and that's huge. You know, you got to give and take, and you know, if you take one to give 80, that's that's pretty good odds. Sheep hunting is not all about the trophy. Um, you know, when, when you're hunting sheep, first off, you're you're in God's country. I don't care if you're in Canada or West Texas. It's sheep sheep country is a is a different feel than any other type of hunting I've hunted all over North America, and Mexico, Canada, Africa. But sheep hunting is is the next level of, of country scenery, uh, anticipation, highest of highs, lowest of lows. Well, we got our grand slam, this desert bighorn. Uh, shot 247 yards from across the way. 347 yards from across the way. And uh, we did a good job, it was a great hunt. The first night, and everyone cooperated and worked hard, and it went well. We got all the area biologists uh, Cody McIntyre from Sierra Diablos, Dewey Stockbridge, which is the head biologist here at Elephant Mountain. We got Shory and Benny. Bobby Tice, which uh, finished his slam ram with me last year, and we're, uh, you'll see in the film we're headed there now. <clears throat> have a little uh, more time. <laughs> to uh, continue his addiction. Yeah. We've got James Barton, and I'm Jim Breck Bean with High West Outfitters. Congratulations on your slam ram. Thank you. Way to go, Jim. <laughs> Thanks. This is Jim's first hunt in 15 years, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, after his 347 yard shot, I'd say he hadn't, uh, hadn't missed much. So thank you for your, uh, your donation to Texas Sheep. Thank you. Congratulations on a great round. Well, thank you. Enjoyed it. So on the 2019 auction permit, uh, we actually hunted the Elephant Mountain Wildlife Management Area. Uh, our client was able to harvest a, an 11 to 12 year old, just super ram. Uh, the ram had been, been hunted for a few years, but this year on the auction permit, we were lucky enough to catch up with him. Okay, y'all, let's pay some respect. Lord, thank you for this resource. Thank you for the men and women who dedicate their time and energy toward wild sheep. Thank you for the people who generously fund these efforts. And thank you for giving us the technology that allows us to share this information with the world. In your name we pray. Amen.